Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I am okay. Thank you. Um, I had a crazy week over the weekend. Saturday night, my whole downstairs flooded. <laughs> yeah, oh, leak no. from my kitchen all the way down. It happened overnight. And I didn't hear it. Yeah, so it has been a week of disruption. Oh, which is, Terry, which is, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I know, which is one of the reasons why I noticed how powerful this breath is. And so I did want to share because I didn't panic and I've been dealing with it really well. And I have been coming back to this breath throughout my day. And I also had some difficult conversations to have this week. And I just kept noticing how I came back to my breath with this breath we're going to work on today. But yeah, I am um, having to work upstairs with my in-person clients, rescheduling some and going to have to get some new rugs. Already thrown one out. It was so smelly. But things are kind of coming back around. It's a lot of cleaning, <laughs> a lot of purging. So that's always a good thing. But this alchemy of the breath has been so powerful. And I learned it from my guest that is on the show this past week, Bob Fussell. Um, It's something that he got from rebirthing. And when I was in the sanctuary, we did the whole rebirthing process, just helping our soul and come back and go all the way back to, you know, birthing from our mothers. But he's taken a little further and he calls it the alchemy of the breath. It's not one that I'm really like unfamiliar with, but as he explained it, and I read in his book, which he teaches you how to do it, and I will teach you today, it's just the practice of it and noticing the differences that it can create for you. And so I just, started doing it ever since talking to him I'm like all right let me just see what he's talking about right like okay and it is pretty profound so what we'll do today is we're going to tune in as we normally do and the breath it's 20 breaths it's four repetitions we're going to do it two ways now you only need to do it one way but i want you to feel and see which way you prefer so the first way we're going to do it will be in and out of the mouth the whole time and the second way we're going to pause and sit the second time is going to be in and out of the nose the whole time so you could choose when you do this on your own which way but we don't want to like breathe in through the nose and then breathe out through the mouth we want to be consistent with how we do our breathing and i kind of introduced it on the 11 11 meditation so maybe you recognize it but what it is it's four short breaths a fifth longer breath a pause and then an exhale so through the mouth, it would be like And then we repeat that four times. And then through the nose is the same idea, but the mouth is closed and it's And then we repeat that four times. All right, so I do want you just to kind of notice where you are now in between because I also find that it's very helpful leading into your meditation, even with Reiki, right? It's just like very helpful to calm the chatter. It works on calming the nervous system. Neuroscience will tell you that partly what we do and we take that breath, 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 bigger breath, it kind of tricks the nervous system into relaxation is really kind of what neuroscience talks about. All right, so we just really want to notice for ourselves what you notice and what you feel. All right, so let's just tune in, sacred elements, finding something to light. <laughs> something to light. Oh, I have a candle. Calling in the element of fire. Ah, taking the spirit in. Take a deep breath. Noticing the element of air. Clearing. Releasing. Clearing the mind. Calling in the element of water to wash through us, to open the heart. All the emotions building right now as this full moon builds. Calling in the element of earth to ground center feeling that connection inhale breathing up the body and as you exhale bringing that breath all the way down slowing down inhale expanding the breath up the body 
Exhale, calling all your energy into you. Call it in. Inhale, taking another breath, expanding it all the way up the body. And as you exhale, begin to align your energies, calling in the spiritual body to align right on top of the physical, the emotional, the mental layers, centering. Inhale, expanding the breath up the body. And this time as we exhale, right into the heart, right into the deepest part, feeling that connection, your spirit, the greater spirit. Know that you are loved, guided, protected, feeling all this energy coming in around us, taking this time right now, calling in the masters, the teachers, the archangels to open our hearts with joy, calling in the crystal beings for imagination, amusement, magnification, calling in your higher self right above the crown to receive the messages for you today. Taking a moment, noticing where we are in this great wheel of life. The days are shorter, the winds are changing, the temperature drops, the leaves fall. We recognize this cycle of life finding ourselves in the direction of the West. We take this time to honor all the work that we've done as we harvest, calling in the directions to the West, the North, the East and the South, above us, below us, right into the very center, deep into your heart, feeling your soul, your intentions, under the light of this moon coming in for us, the Scorpio energy we're in now, deep into your soul. Feeling that intention, noticing where you are right now. So as we go to work with this alchemy of the breath, we'll start with the mouth opened. Just notice where you are now. Here we go. Inhaling. Again. Just release the breath and just sit quietly. Notice. And then now through the nose.
and began just sitting quietly. Notice. Focus right in the third eye, being very still. Just bring it right back to the center. Staying in this space, constantly returning the mind back to center as it wanders. Noticing your nervous system.
just noticing the illumination of the heart, the third eye, noticing your energy field, very, very well centered. And now let's just expand that breath, this nice peace and calm energy from the heart and the chakras opening up all through your aura, exhale, pulling it back in. And again, inhale, I am calm, feel the peace throughout. Exhale back in. Turning to the vertical breath up the body, exhaling back down. Inhaling and exhaling right back into the heart. And then we just bring this right into the body, aligning the energies, the eyes, cheeks, Nose and chin, collarbone, thymus, underneath the arms. And just allowing for those clear intentions. I am calm. I am centered. I am healthy. I am happy. I am peace calm, centered, I am healthy in my body, right here, right now, I am grounded, healthy, centered. Turning to the karate chop point, I choose to love and accept myself no matter what. Let's release the hands, take another breath, inhale. Exhale out. Just bringing the hands right up to the heart, moment of gratitude. Gratitude for the breath. Gratitude for the spirit, the connection with the greater spirit. Gratitude for showing up for you. Inhaling and exhaling all the way down deep into the earth. Feel the heart open. Feel the calmness, the third eye. And as you're ready, blinking the eyes back open, coming back. Calm, right? What did you notice? A little shift, I could feel everything just shh. So this is great. If you have like a big emotion, you have an argument with somebody, you find yourself wanting to get out of the body, this will bring you right back and it transmutes those emotions. Instead of not dealing with it, getting into the drama, we feel it. Okay, feel the discord, feel the fear, feel all that anger at me. I feel it and just breathe through it with this breath, four sets. And then sit for a moment and notice. Notice what you notice. All right. Thank you all so much to your spirit. Namaste.